hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in this video we are going to have a look at some of the things that we need to check before starting a vehicle so in order to easily remember some of the checks that we need to do before starting a vehicle you can use these words either you can use the word power or you can also use the word force f o r c e so what are the checks that we need to perform before starting a cold vehicle well, the number one thing we need to check, F stands for fuel. So we need to check for the fuel, then followed by O, oil. We need to check the oil. And then followed by R, when it comes to force, R, rubber. Anything that has lead on it, we have to check that it is perfectly closed and perfectly sealed. And then C stands for coolant. And finally, E stands for electricity. You can either use force or you can also use power, P-O-W-E-R. Now, let's proceed and see how we can use P-O-W-E-R in order to make the pre-checks. Well, the number one thing that is stated here is petrol. P stands for petrol. You need to make sure that you have sufficient fuel for your drive. In order to check the fuel, just go to the dashboard. The dashboard has a fuel gauge fuel gauge for this particular vehicle for example is right here all you have to do is turn the ignition key to the on position and then the fuel will show you the amount of fuel that is available on your display here so this display will tell you the amount of fuel that is available for example this particular vehicle is running low on fuel it means before going anywhere we need to go to the fuel station to fill it up so this is the number one thing you need to check so right here on power p stands for petrol so the second thing in the list when followed by p petrol is followed by oil we need to check oil oil includes engine oil transmission oil brake fluid oil all that oil that is very necessary for the vehicle it has to be checked in order to check engine oil for this particular the dipstick is right here so you remove the dipstick and then have a look at the oil level the oil level is indicated by marks. There is a minimum mark and there is a maximum mark. You see those tiny Vs? Those tiny Vs indicate the oil level for this particular vehicle. For example, right here, we have two Vs. The oil level, it should lie between the two. Right here, we have one V. That is for the maximum value. Right here, we have another V. That is for the minimum value. And as you can see, the oil is right here, in here, between the two. So it is preferable that the oil is closer to the maximum value. It should not be above here. It should not be below here. It should be somewhere between the two. And more preferably, it should be close to the maximum position. So stand your vehicle on a level ground. Make sure that the vehicle is parked in a level ground. And then check the oil level in such a manner. If you are not sure about the clear cut level of the oil, you can remove this, swipe it, and then put it back again and check it again. If you want to see the cleanness of the oil, you can always feel it and see how clean the oil is. So this is one oil. Engine oil can be checked in such a manner. Other oils have to be checked as well. For example, if you are using a power steering, the power steering oil has to be checked. For this particular vehicle, right here is the oil reservoir for the power steering. You remove the reservoir cap and here you have a dipstick. See, there are three marks, the lower mark, the upper mark, and the in between there is, there is a letter in here, letter is written in here, H is here, when it is hot, it should be up here, when it is cold, it should be down here, and this is the minimum value that you want to see. So, check the power steering fluid as well. If you are using automatic transmission, and if you have an automatic transmission dipstick, also remove that and check the automatic fluid level. Oil includes also the brake fluid. Brake fluid have indicators. Make sure that there is sufficient brake fluid. Right here we have a maximum indicator and right here we have a minimum. If you rock it like this, you can see where the oil is. The oil level is clearly indicated here. It is darker when the oil level has reached. So ours is slightly below the maximum and way above the minimum. So we are good to go. So brake fluid level and any oil that is associated with the safety of the vehicle it has to be checked if you are using a manual transmission vehicle and if the clutch is hydraulically operated 
make sure to check the clutch load as well and then based on the list that we have here on power oil is followed by water so we need to check coolant W stands for the coolant so we need to check the coolant coolant level on some of the vehicle is checked right on the radiator if you have a radiator cap here you open the radiator cap and check the level of coolant inside the cooling system for vehicles that have expansion tank for this particular model for example we have an expansion tank here check for the oil the coolant level inside the expansion tank right here we have a maximum value right here there is a maximum here there is a maximum and down there there is a minimum check make sure that the coolant is between the maximum and the minimum and make sure that the radiator cap is also closed as you can see the expansion tank is this is connected to the radiator through pipe so you can check the coolant level inside the expansion tank if there is no expansion tank available make sure to check the amount of coolant on the radiator itself W also refers to the washer water level there is a water level right in here there is a washer that is used to clean the windshield so make sure that there is sufficient water level inside the windshield washer water reservoir and next on the list is E E stands for electricity electricity has to do with all electric power supply to the vehicle check the battery condition of the terminal connectors and the battery itself the battery top it has to be dry the battery terminals they should be dry and perfectly fit this has to be a snug fit between the terminals and terminal connectors and make sure that this is clean and dry and the other thing you can also check the status of charge of the battery right here it is a sealed battery it's a maintenance free battery we have a charge indicator you can see ours is green the display right here is green if it is green it means the battery is in good condition if it is red it requires charging and if it is white it means fluid deficiency is there the battery has to be replaced so every time before starting your vehicle make sure that the electricity of the vehicle is in good condition that can be done by simply looking at the battery the connection and uh, the top surface of the battery electricity check also includes if you have a gasoline vehicle make sure that the spark plug cables and all the ignition wires are perfectly connected that will include the electricity check to be performed on your vehicle next on the list is r r stands for rubber any rubber that is available on the vehicle need to be checked rubber leads for example this is a master cylinder reservoir cover make sure it is perfectly closed any any rubber it has to be perfectly closed so any lead any rubber lead it should be perfectly closed this is a windscreen washer tank reservoir so make sure that the top is perfectly sealed oil filler neck this has to be closed make sure that they are all closed nicely and if you have an expansion tank of this kind make sure also the expansion tank rubber lid is closed by making sure that the rubber leads are all closed you will make sure if there is loose if there is, if there are loose rubber leads they will gradually fall down as the vehicle is being driven on a regular road so the final check that we need to do is check if all the leads are in good condition and uh, perfectly closed and finally rubber also refers to the tires tires they have to be in perfect condition check the tread check the air level and make sure that they are all in good pressure make sure all the tires are good make sure the bolts are torqued and make sure that they are all inflated go around the vehicle to check all the wheels so this is some of the checks that has to be done before setting for a journey so always before starting your vehicle check to see if all these are fulfilled or not so use this power or you can use force to remember all of the things that you need to check well dear viewers this is all we have for you in this presentation if you like this video please smash the like button if you are new here do consider subscribing and uh, uh, turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video till then stay safe